Welcome to the Pump Songs Podcast. My name is Mark Gunn, and we're doing this live from a Dragon Con. I think that's where we're at, right? <laughs> it's the end of the, the con show, the, the very last uh, panel, and um, I get to play it music once again. What is this? Is this third year or fourth year? I forget. Fourth? fourth wow. Year. Holy moly, he's been doing it for four years doing this. So I was talking to people, they said they, the Walking Dead panel was canceled, so I going to adapt adapt this song for the walking dead people your part is when i say un, when i say dead you're going to shout dead 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 okay so let's try this look at the coffin see how it's shifting isn't it grand, boys, to be walking undead? Dead, dead, There's no dead. time for praying. Just time for one bloody last cry. Ah! Always remember the slower you run, the sooner you bloody well die. Look at the preacher. Feasting on choir boys, nothing new. <laughs> Isn't it grand, boys, to be walking undead? Dead, dead, There's no dead. time for praying. Just time for one bloody last cry. Ah! Always remember the slower you run, the sooner you bloody well die. Look at the people screaming and fleeing. Isn't it grand, boys, to be walking undead? Dead, dead, There's no dead. time for praying. Just time for one bloody last cry. Ah! Always remember the slower you run, the sooner you bloody well die. Look at the widow. She's next on the menu. Isn't it grand, boys, to be walking undead? Dead, dead, There's no dead. time for praying. Just time for one bloody last cry. Ah! Always remember the slower you run, the sooner you bloody well die. Look at the whiskey. Let's down the whole barrel. Then it's so grand to go hunting undead. There's no time for praying. Just time for one bloody last cry. Ah! Always remember the slower you run, the sooner you bloody well die. Look at the tombstone. See how it's shifting. Up come the hands of another undead. Dead, dead, There's no dead. time for praying. Just time for one bloody last cry. Ah! Always remember the slower you run, the sooner you bloody well die. And always remember the slower you run, the sooner you bloody well die. I think I already immediately forgot that it was supposed to be Walking Undead, but oh well. Walking Dead, or I don't know, it doesn't matter. Really. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a fun song. <laughs> I'm going to do a song, yes, it's the end of the con, so that the delirium for all of us, we're all going to be laughing, giggling and, uh, by the end of the thing. <laughs> this song is next show, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Love you, Swoopy. <laughs> Um, this song is um, uh, from my album Firefly Drinking Songs, and um, it is a song about Jane, but it has a special chorus for you, um, so I'm going to need your help. I don't remember the chorus right now, so I'll get to it after the sing a couple verses. <laughs> okay, now if I can remember how the verses start. I know this verse. Let's try a different song. How about this? The 
chorus for the song. Repeat after me. After me. Repeat after me. After me. Won't you pour me a glass of Monahan's mother's milk? We'll wash the mud away. If you pour me a glass of Monahan's mother's milk, we'll leave Higgins Goran Moon someday. And it goes like this. Won't you pour me a glass of my dad's mother's milk? We'll wash the mud away. If you pour me a glass of my dad's mother's milk, we'll leave Higgins Gorham Moon someday. I was 12 years old when my daddy brought me here with two brothers who loved to laugh. But 10 to 20 in this muddy hole, we lost our laughing muscle mold. My brothers lost their lives to mother's gas. Won't you pour me a glass of my and mother's milk? We'll wash the mud away. If you pour me a glass of my and mother's milk, we'll leave Higgins Gore Moon someday. My daddy raised one fist to tell the boss he's pissed. Another to the foreman on third shift But when he raised the shovel to protest his low wage troubles He was shot down and dumped in a muddy ditch Won't you pour me a glass of my dad's mother's milk We'll wash the mud away If you pour me a glass of my dad's mother's milk We'll leave Higgins Gore Moon someday Well, mudden's all I know until I've enough to go and take my own three boys far from here. Maybe another place much worse in this here cold verse. Till then I drink my Monahans for cheer. All together, you pour me a glass of Monahans mother's milk. We'll wash the mud away. If you pour me a glass of Monahans mother's milk, we'll leave Higgins Gore Moon someday. Won't you pour me a glass of my and mother's milk? We'll wash the mud away. Praise Joss, if you pour me a glass of my and mother's milk. We'll leave Higgins Gore Moon someday. Won't you pour me a glass of my and mother's milk? We'll wash the mud away. If you pour me a glass of my and mother's milk, we'll leave Higgins Gore Moon someday. I remember the lyrics now. <coughs> he's dumb, but he's tough. He likes to shoot stuff, and he don't give a damn what you think. Spends his days turning wrenches, his nights chasing wenches, and he'll happily kick in your teeth. Yes, he'll happily kick in your teeth. Well, he comes from St. Joe, where he lives with his ma, lots of fish and this drunk Mexican. He's hopped a few trains to ride off his pains, and he's doing the best that he can. Yes, he's doing the best that he can. Well, he's too proud to live and too dumb to die. Lord knows that his mama, she tried. Well, he always meant well while he's going to hell. But it's good to have Jane on your side. Yes, it's good to have Jane on your side. That is your course. He's too proud to live. He's too proud to live. He's too dumb to die. Lord knows that his mama, she tried. Well, he always meant well while he's going to hell. While he's going to hell. Top of your lungs. Well, it's good to have Jane on your side. Yes, it's good to have Jane on your side. Let's try it one more time. Well, he's too proud to live and too dumb to die. Lord knows that his mama, she tried. Well, he always meant well. But it's good to have Jane on your side. Yes, it's good to have Jane on your side. Well, he drinks mother's milk. He don't wear no cock ring. He don't fight for no honor or fame. A night out with his gun is his idea of fun. And he thinks all you mothers are lame. Yes, he thinks all you mothers are lame. Well, he's too proud to live and too dumb to die. Lord knows that his mama, she tried. Well, he always meant well. But it's good to have Jane on your side. Yes, it's good to have Jane on your side. He steals what he needs from the big companies and returns it so he can get paid. 
First son of Spinard, his life's quite hard Escaping the messes he's made Yes, escaping the messes he's made Well, he's too proud to live, too dumb to die Lord knows that his mama, she tried Well, he always meant well But it's good to have Jane on your side Yes, it's good to have Jane on your side He's living the dream, he fixes up things He's got him a rusty shotgun a three-legged dog and a shack on a hill And that's his retirement fund Yes, that's Jane's retirement fund Well, he's too proud to live and too dumb to die Lord knows that his mama, she tried Well, he always meant well But it's good to have Jane on your side Yes, it's good to have Jane on your side He rolls the Satan's he don't do much hatin', not much in this verse that he needs. Just a little more clutch, some biddles and such, and one night with some pretty young girl. Yes, yeah, some trim from some fine looking girl. Well, he's too proud to live and too dumb to die. Lord knows that his mama, she tried. Well, he always meant well. But it's good to have Jane on your side. Yes, it's good to have Jane on your side. Yes. It's good to have Jane on your side. Awesome. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to do a Hobbit song now. Yeah. And so uh, for those who like to uh, um, be hobbity, when I say we'll have a pint, your line is, a pint, a pint! <laughs> And then uh, at the end of it, you're gonna sh at the end of the course, you're gonna shout, "Hurrah!" Okay, so let's try it. We'll have a pint. We'll have a pint of stout. And when we drunk it bottom up, we all will give a shout. We can do a little bit more passionate than that. <laughs> Sounds like you're at the end of a con or something. Okay. And so let's try it again. We'll have a pint. We'll have a pint of stout. And when we drunk it bottom up, we all will give a shout. There you go. There's many an in dotting a shire that serves a lovely brew. From by water to free, they say you'll want a pint or two. The finest stout or nut brown ale, the taste comes shining through. And if you raise a glass with me, I'll drink a toast to you. We'll have a pint. We'll have a pint of stout. And when we drunk it bottom up, we all will give a shout. The ivy bush, the green dragon, the pony or in Bree We'll make the rounds of Hobbit Town and have a pint or three A half a pint is fine for lads of less than 33 But I will raise a fool with you if you will drink with me We'll have a pint, we'll have a pint of stout And when we drunk your bottom up, we all will give a shout A toast, a toast, a friend and host, a toast to Bonnie Brew. We'll lift the glass to seasons past and adventures yet to do. We'll toast to each last that we met and some we wish we knew. And then at last we'll stagger home and tomorrow start anew. We'll have a pint, we'll have a pint of stout. And when we drunk your bottom up, we all will give a shout. We'll have a pint, we'll have a pint of stout. And when we drunk your bottom up, we all will give a shout. Good job. So there is a, a little town um, in central Kentucky, and every two or three years, much like Brigadoon, a hobbit village rises from the mist and turns into this incredible weekend of fun um, with people, you know, singing. One night they have, you know, a night of Rohirrim. Next night you have the, the, the Elvish night. Then you have a big hobbit party at the end of it all. And all through the days you have uh, uh, some, speaking of, it's a little, sort of a mini convention too. So you have little panels of, of uh, Tolkien artists. Uh, um, there's a Tolkien scholar, Michael Drought. God, the guy is brilliant. And uh, listening to his, his uh, panels is just absolutely amazing. But um, I, I like to mention that before I do this next song, because you spend a lot of time, particularly the last time we did this, um, uh, was it last year, I think? The next one's in two, next year, I know that. Um, or sorry, it might have been two years ago, I forget. But it was uh, it was absolutely a brilliant uh, event. But then the evening. Okay, you know the scene from 
Lord of the Rings, when the hobbits are dancing on the table, singing songs and such. That's what we do every night. Um, oh, except usually there's a Jane hat involved. Um, so it's, you know, a little bit different. Uh, so just uh, imagine Pippin with a Jane hat and you've got a good idea what to, what to expect. It's absolutely brilliant. And if uh, you want to attend this, it's an event called A Long Expected Party, but it's already sold out. <laughs> Because um, they don't do a hala, it's a small con, con. they're topping out at like uh, 170 people. And I think they do day passes, so it is worth checking out if you uh, want to find a hotel nearby and see if you can get in there. And I would suggest doing it soon, because even the day passes are going to be out. Mm, Bilbo's birthday, 2014, so September 22nd. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. This song that I'm going to do, though, uh, which is, you know, I, I like to say it actually comes from here, from uh, that convention, but it, it really didn't. It actually uh, started from this convention right here. I learned some valuable lessons. It's got a nice course too. It goes like this. Don't go drinking with hobbits. Sure, you'll have a grand time all night long. But if you go drinking with hobbits, my friends, you may not want to wake up at all. They were thoughtful and kind when they invited me to drink a lone human among hobbit kind. They bought me a half, then another, and one more, and told stories of days long gone by. I brew a strong, my glass never empty, as if time stood still and bare. But when I awoke the next morning, I felt like old Smog had been there. Oh, don't go drinking with hobbits. Sure, you'll have a grand time all night long But if you go drinking with hobbits, my friends You may not want to wake up at all You may wonder how it all happened Well, I'm still wondering what happened to I had tea, dinner, and supper Quite cool, I thought I was through But they insisted I come to the flagon and drink to the health of new friends But when I got there, I made more hobbit friends And the toast seemed never to end Oh, don't go drinking with hobbits Sure, you'll have a grand time all night long But if you go drinking with hobbits, my friends You may not want to wake up at all When the sun had arose the next morning and I lifted my head from my drool. There were beer mugs spilled on the tables and hobbits lying next to their stools. A young hobbit last grin crossed the bar room and nudged each of my new hobbit friends. And then sometime after second breakfast, we all started drinking again. <laughs> oh, don't go drinking with hobbits. Sure, you'll have a grand time all night long. But if you go drinking with hobbits, my friends, you may not want to wake up at all. <clears throat> I left Hobbiton a few days later. My head, it was swollen and sore. Felt like a dwarven anvil. After a terrible war, I don't think I'll ever recover from the food, the drink, and the cheer. And I swear I'll never drink with hobbits again at least till I see them next year oh don't go drinking with hobbits sure you'll have a grand time all night long but if you go drinking with hobbits my friends you may not want to wake up at all no don't go drinking with hobbits sure you'll have a grand time all night long but if you go drinking with hobbits my friends you may not want to wake up at all. Just a quick little bit of tuning. I think from there, I, I, I do a wide variety of, of weird songs, in case you haven't noticed. Um, and I think I'm gonna go to uh, one of my strangest projects caught in a uh, series of albums called Irish Drinking Songs for Cat Lovers. <laughs> it is a pet project of mine. <laughs> uh, 
I love the, I love this album actually. Um, when I first released this in uh, 2004, I think it was, I uh, posted to uh, to uh, or someone posted it on Fark.com, and I had 20,000 hits that day, and then there's thousands of comments on the website. About 90% of them said, "Guy, this this guy is drinking too much." <laughs> The other 10% was, my, I want my cat to have his cat's babies. So, <laughs> I uh, said, at that point, I was like, well, I don't know if it's a great idea, but um, I want to do it anyways. And turns out it was like one of the, my best-selling CDs, and, uh, and so much so that I ended up releasing a separate, second album called Whiskers in the Jar. <laughs> and I'm already starting to plan. I haven't written much, but I've already started to plan uh, a third album, which is called uh, Sea Shanties for Cat Lovers. So, <laughs> something about cats getting seasick, I guess. <laughs> Boy, this cold air in here is having fun with the uh, auto harp. Um, so I'm gonna do a song from that. Probably the, uh, this uh, song has a nice little chorus. like this. Pounce, pounce, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the pounce, said he. I'll run under feet wherever you may be, and I'll leap on you in the pounce, said he. I pounced in the morning when the world was begun. I pounced on the moon and the stars all for fun. I leaped down from heaven and I pounced on the earth When I pounced my first mouse I had my birth Pounce, pounce, wherever you may be I am the lord of the pounce, said he I'll run under feet wherever you may be And I'll leap on you in the pounce, said he I pounced on the Sabbath, rubbed my head against the lane Many people shook their head, said this feline was insane I mean, nap after pouncing, do not think I am gone For I just saw a rat, so the pounce goes on Pounce, pounce, wherever you may be I am the lord of the pounce, said he I'll run under feet, wherever you may be And I'll leap on you in the pounce, said he I and my lady meowed a song across the plain Two birds came down and we pounced on each of them On the bedchamber floor I laid my carry-on Then I raced out the door and I pounced again Pounce, pounce, wherever you may be I am the lord of the pounce, said he I'll run under feet wherever you may be And I'll leap on you in the pounce, said he a dog jumped down, so I leaped up high. I have nine lives that will never, never die. I'll pounce on you, though you bark at me. I am the lord of the pounce, said he. Pounce, pounce, wherever you may be. I am the lord of the pounce, said he. I'll run under feet, wherever you may be. And I'll leap on you, and the pounce, said he. Pounce, pounce, wherever you may be. I am the lord of the pounce, said he I'll run under feet wherever you may be And I'll leap on you in the pounce, said Let me hear you! Pounce, pounce, wherever you may be I am the lord of the pounce, said he I'll run under feet Wherever you may be, and I'll leap on you in the pounce, said he. As a Celtic musician, it is almost uh, essential as that you play a Danny boy. However, I uh, am not the standard Celtic musician. And so I uh, ended up rewriting it. Oh, Danny boy, the alarm is not yet ringing. 
Yet I awake with you licking me on my cheek. Ouch, stop it! The morning's come too soon and you won't stop meowing. Why won't you let me have one good night's sleep? At 3 a.m. I awoke, you're at the window. You pulled the blinds and me out into the air. I threw a pillow and said, would you be quiet? You thought it again, so you came and chewed my hair. When I come home tonight to find you sleeping You look so sweet lying in that chair you sheared I don't know why I have this great desire To watch you run as I yell into your ear and my revenge, it is only just beginning Not a moment's rest, this evening you will see Till 11 p.m. when I lay down and I'm dreaming At last I'll sleep in peace until the morning. How are we on time? We actually have 30, 33 more minutes. Okay. Um, I want to do a song. It is not a <coughs> sci-fi drinking song, but I love it. So I, I released a, uh, a Kickstarter just recently called uh, for an album called Scottish Songs of Drinking and Rebellion. The album was fully funded and then some, such that I uh, funded a second album, which um, as I was trying to figure out what to call it, what to do with it, I just couldn't figure out what to do with it. So I ended up saying, you know, really I have two albums here, and uh, one of them I just came up with a name, which is settled on a name, which is Sci-Fi Drinking Songs. It's going to have a, just a lot of uh, fun uh, sci-fi drinking songs. And then some. The other one is a little bit more ballady and has uh, some different sort of songs. Um, in fact, I think I might go into one of those and say, but this song is going to be on, on there. It's a, a title track for the album. A song called Where, when, Wherever I May Roam. Um, I wrote it and I absolutely love it. It has a part for you. And because once again, it's the end of Khan, I'm not remembering that part. <laughs> but you'll hear me repeat it and repeat one, wherever I'm, whatever the chorus is, sometimes I'm, wherever I may roam, I echo myself. And you're going to be the echo. Okay, so you're going to do that twice in there. So let's try this. Let's see if I can remember the lyrics to this. Too. Young days I used to wander the lonely lanes of life, spun out of control, dizzy and alone, nothing running right. Now I have love inside me, inside me, wherever I may roam. I may roam, I have my family beside me, I'm never alone. That's your part, you got that? Try that course one more time. Now I have love inside me, wherever I may roam. I have my family beside me, I'm never alone. We got to sing a lot louder than that, so we'll keep on going, soldiering through. I turn my back on dissonance. Struck a new chord and hit it twice Race for the sun and a new world begun 
And then I met my wife Now I have love inside me Wherever I may roam I have my family beside me I'm never alone Better, good, good, we'll work on it Fish and chips in the streets of London Savor the pita in New Orleans Walked in cold rain of Galway town She's prettier than a dream Music alone was my one companion But songs alone have no melody Now there's adventure and love in my life and in the cries of our baby Now I have love inside me Inside me Wherever I may roam I may roam I have my family beside me I'm never alone Let's do it again Now I have love inside me Wherever I may roam I have my family beside me I'm never alone, no, not alone Now I have love inside me Wherever I may roam I have my family beside me I'm never alone So I had the idea that I was going to uh, finish with this next song, but I think I'm going to finish up with a different song from that Wherever I Night Rome album, because it's a wonderful song. Uh, it's a great ending song, too. Um, this one is, was inspired by uh, a certain doctor. Um, actually, it wasn't even inspired by uh, doc Doctor Who. Um, not at all. <laughs> It's just about Doctor Who. So, uh, uh, a couple, like last year or the year before that, I forget when now, but uh, I was at the Icon convention in New York, and um, someone comes up to me after my show and says, I have a song for you. And I say, yeah? Well, you know Emerald Rose? Yeah, I know Emerald Rose. You know the song that they do, Donald McGillivray? Yeah, yeah I know, know that song. He said, Doctor of Gallifrey. And I said, Awesome! <laughs> and I got my friend uh, 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 Devo Spice, aka or Tom Rockwell, aka Devo Spice, to end up writing it because he knows his doctor lore much better than I do. So he came up with this: Doctor went back in time, competent and clever. Doctor went where he planned well, hardly ever. Doctor goes off again with his new gal today. Strictly platonic, it's Doctor of Gallifrey. Face all the dangers, Doctor of Gallifrey. Don't blink at angels, Doctor of Gallifrey. Dress like a cricket man and on some celery. Who's your designer? A Doctor of Gallifrey. Doctor wears jackets. Colored like two cans, Doctor wears bow ties. He says they're cool, man. Flies a police box. Time lords get in the way. Play your recorder, a Doctor of Gallifrey. You see the master, Doctor of Gallifrey. Run a bit faster, Doctor of Gallifrey. The honeymoon suite made Amy and Rory stay. Check out his unit, a Doctor of Gallifrey. Doctor has fought with Daleks and Autons. Doctor has saved all the worlds that he's fought on, except for the one that he screwed up royally. Tell me, now, Doctor, what happened to Gallifrey? Travels through time and space, Doctor of Gallifrey sometimes regenerates, Doctor of Gallifrey. Doesn't that scarf get hot or does it get in the way? Have a jelly baby, a Doctor of Gallifrey. Take on the Cybermen and be he not afraid. And as with Microsoft, 
avoid the upgrade they will delete or possibly something worse just like the Borg from that other universe <laughs> silence attack again Doctor of Gallifrey Daleks are back again Doctor of Gallifrey if there's no handicap ramp they will exterminate wipe them from time itself it's Doctor of Gallifrey Rose is the bad wolf Susan will keep her wits, canine's a robot, Harry has big eyes, rivers revert, Captain Jack goes every way, here's two companions of Doctor of Gallifrey. Martha's a doctor too, Doctor of Gallifrey, Zoe's as smart as you, Doctor of Gallifrey. Jamie, where's your trousers? I think that they are in the way. Please take me with you, a oh, Doctor of Gallifrey. That awesome song. I love it. That will be on sci fi drinking songs. <laughs> um, this next song is on a, uh, another album. Uh, I mean, uh, 2010, I started recording. I think it was 2010, I started recording this album. Um, it's, uh, I started recording an album for uh, my album. It's <laughs> kind of how I felt, too. Uh, <laughs> Now, I started recording an album called uh, Kilted for Her Pleasure. And at the time, I was, uh, I was recording it. Um, little did I know, I found this great lullaby. And I, little did I know that nine months later, I would have a daughter that I could sing this to. And it's a very sweet lullaby. It's called Close Your Eyes. So if you'll just close your eyes for a moment. Stop laughing. Your eyes aren't all closed. Close your eyes and sleep. There are demons in your dreams. Go to sleep, my darling. There's a demon underneath your bed. The demons in your bed are going to eat you up. Stay in your bed There are landmines on the floor The demons in your bed Are gonna eat you up Sugar and spice and everything nice Why do you think we say that? It's so the demons underneath your bed will want to eat you up. You used to have a sister. She wouldn't go to sleep. So the demons underneath her bed ate her up. Do not call for your mother. Who is it that you think who let the demons in to eat you up? Snakes and snails and puppy dog tails. Who can account for the taste of demons? The demons in your bed are gonna eat you up. Baby, don't you cry, or the demons won't wait till you fall asleep before they eat you up. My father sang the song to me But he slipped and he fell on a landmine <laughs> And the demons underneath my bed 
ate him up. That is not a blanket. Good night. <laughs> My daughter is now three years old, and I should um, say that I have CDs, and they uh, help pay for my daughter's therapy when she <laughs> grows up. And developing a nice little cushion. I mean, we could use more, you know, so buy some CDs, and that helps. <laughs> um, Wild Mountain Timer, bring me home. Okay. All right, so Wild Mountain Time, this is old uh, song by uh, Francis McPeak based on an older Scottish song called The Braes of Alwada. And uh, it's a beautiful song. It's got a great chorus. Oh, the summertime is coming. And the trees are sweetly blooming And the wild mountain time Rose around the blooming heather Will you go, lassie, he go And we'll all go together To poor wild mountain time All around the blooming heather Will you go I will build my love a bower By yon clear and crystal fountain And all around the bower A pile of flowers from the mountain Will you go, lassie, go And we'll all go together you pull my whole mountain time all around the blooming heather. Will you go, lassie, go? I will roam country o'er through that dark land so dreary, and all the spoils I find I'll bring to my Darling, dearie, will you go, lassie, go? And we'll all go together to poor wild mountain time All around the blooming heather Will you go, lassie, go? If my true love, she won't come I will surely find another To pull my old mountain time All around the blooming heather Will you go, lassie, go And we'll all go together To pull my old mountain time all around the blooming heather Will you go, lassie, go? Oh, the summertime is coming And the trees are sweetly blooming And the wild mountain time Grows around the blooming heather Will you go, lassie, go? And we'll all go together To pull my old mountain time All around the blooming heather Will you go, lassie, go? And we'll all go together To pull my old mountain time All around Will you go, I see you go, 
Will you go? I see you go. Will you go? How much time do we got? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, I'm finishing up a little earlier than so I'm going to keep going. If that's okay with you, are you okay with that? Um, this song. Who is not familiar with Voltaire? Okay, uh, not the uh, writer, author, also. I'm talking about uh, Voltaire is a, a goth satirist. Um, I like to say he sings songs that you really should not sing about. Um, yes. Uh, so. Uh, I bring it up because it's important in the song, because um, this song, I, you could probably just say it's a nice tribute to Voltaire. Um, it's not quite as bad as Voltaire, and not nowhere near. It's not dirty at all, unlike his. Um, <laughs> his he gets some really bad stuff. If you are sensitive hearing, never listen to the Cantina song. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. He has an album out actually called Bitrexual. <laughs> I love the title. <laughs> okay, this song is called, um, well, I don't think I'm going to tell you what it's called. <laughs> I'm in a graveyard and there is no moon, something shuffling about like rats on a tomb and it's freaking me out. I've seen too many horror films lately. I walk faster, trying to get out of an evil dead flick Would have just laugh out loud And here comes this girl and she's too into me to be living I know, I know she's a zombie And I'm feeling oh so wrong It's just like a lyric Voltaire sings in his songs I'm lost in the blood of somebody's brains That my new love is eating the day Don't know how it happened Never thought that I'd fall for a zombie And she moves close, I hope to cuddle me tight But instead of a kiss, she just tries to bite me There's a look in her eye the one that is still in its socket <laughs> I wish that you'd love me Instead of eating me like steak You've got zombie friends So a threesome might be great I'm lost in the blood of somebody's brains that my new love is eating the day Don't know how it happened Never thought that I'd fall for a zombie You put all the feeling In necrophilia Would you please stop the biting Cause I think that you're the one I'm lost in the blood Somebody's brains that my new love is eating the day Don't know how it happened Never thought that I'd fall for a zombie and Now I'm lost Lost in the blood Lost in blood And brains I got one more song, and so this song, I like to call it the ultimate steampunk song. It was actually written in, the in 1904, uh, so it's called Come Take a Trip on My Airship. It's a brilliant song. I heard it from this, this uh, eight, almost an 88-year-old auto harper at the auto harp, uh, uh, California auto harp gathering I went to uh, last year and again this year. He's this wonderful guy. He's got this smile plastered on his face and he's just a, an amazing auto harp player he plays you know gershwin and and anything under the sun pretty much he he looks for the most obscure songs and he plays them he plays tangos on the auto harp and i don't know how to do that i've been like i tried i was like 
I love the tango. And I'm like, I can't. How did it? He tried to show me, and I failed. Um, there is no fail. Uh, so he, it, was, it was absolutely brilliant. But he played this song, and I'm like listening in the, in the audience like, this is the ultimate, girl, 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 girl. you know, I'm like, ultimate steampunk song. Um, it's got a wonderful chorus. You're going to pick it up. So I'm going to need your help. I love a sailor, a sailor loves me. He sails every night to my home. He's not a sailor that sails across the sea or over the wild briny foam. For he owns an airship and sails up on high. He's just like a bird on the wing. And when the shadows of evening draw nigh, he'll sail to my window and sing. Come take a trip in my airship Come take a sail among the stars Come have a ride around Venus Come take a spin around Mars No one to watch while we're kissing No one to see while we spoon Come take a trip in my airship And we'll visit the man in the moon Isn't that just the most beautiful melody? This is my, my last song, so I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out. And um, this is actually going to be in the other album, the Whenever, Wherever I May Roam. So if you want to hear more of my music, I have lots of CDs. I also have uh, some cards. You're welcome to check it out. Right near the dipper, I gave him my heart. I screwed up the lyrics already. One evening while sailing away from the crowds We passed through the Milky White Way Just idly drifting and watching the crowds He asked me if I named the day Right near the dipper I gave him my heart The sun shines on our honeymoon We swore from each other we never would part And teach all our babies this tune Come take a trip in my airship Come take a sail among the stars Come have a ride around Venus Come take a spin around Mars No one to watch while we're kissing No one to see while we spoon Come take a trip in my airship And we'll visit the man in the moon Let me hear you Come take a trip in my airship Come take a sail among the stars Come have a ride around Venus Come take a spin around Mars No one to watch while we're kissing No one to see while we spoon Come take a trip in my airship And we'll visit the man in the moon Come take a trip in my airship Come take a sail among the stars Come have a ride around Venus Come take a spin around Mars No one to watch while we're kissing No one to see while we spoon Come take a trip in my airship And we'll visit the man in the moon Thanks so much. I hope you had fun. And uh, hopefully we can do this again next year. So if you like it, if you like it, you can also rate it on the app. I, the, I, the app, if you have the app, um, I think you can do that. And you know, make some comments. But um, really, I just, you know, the con convention is just an amazing little experience. And this for me was a, just a fantastic weekend. So I want to thank everyone who helped make that part of that. You know, because it's been a blast. <laughs> so I haven't had so much fun at this con in a long time. So it was really awesome. So I hope you did too, and uh, have a safe trip home. Sorry. Thank you, Mark.